Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure SQL Managed Instance. Well, in this video we will create an Azure SQL Managed Instance also known as SQL MI. If, so, we have to first sign in to the portal. I am logged on to the portal here. I am logged on, on to the portal. I will create a resource and I will do SQL Managed as your SQL Managed instance. Here it is. I click on it. It says plan. If you see drop down, you have just this option you click on create now under this basic step that you will see I have selected my subscription as pay as you go because I only have one you can create a new resource group test sir RSG SQL MI or SQL MI RSG, whatever you want to do. This is my name. I'll do test assert SQL MI. Okay. Not my name, the managed instance name. Okay. I am going to choose the location as. East US it says managed instance is not available for the chosen subscription and region okay 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 it's available in the south central US Let's see why I am not seeing a region. Managed instance can only be provisioned in supported region. In case that a supported region is not available on the region list, to provision an instance to such region, please use Microsoft support. Okay, so if, let me see if it is available in Central India. Okay, it's available in Central India. So let me go with that. Configure manage instance. So it is the size they are referring to. I'm going with journal purpose. 4 to 80 vcos, 32 gigs to 16 dB storage capacity, fast storage. So I would go with 4 and only fix 256 GB of storage. I don't have a license. And if you see backup storage to the same amount of 256 GB as data storage is provided free of charge. So for the backup redundancy, I'm going with geo redundant backup storage. Okay, now if you see the authentication, so now if you will see the authentication method right so I'm going to use use SQL authentication so herein you can select your preferred uh, authentication method for accessing this managed instance you will create a managed instance admin login and password to access your managed instance with SQL authentication select only Azure AD authentication using an existing Azure AD user group or application If you would see the managed instance admin login. So I can use I can use my name. Password you can use whatever you want. And you can confirm the password. Okay, now you click on networking.
you know, it will ask you to configure virtual network and public endpoint connectivity for the managed instance. So I am, I don't have an existing VNet here for uh, that I can access it with. So I'm going to create a new VNet in this region, Central India. And the connection type. So select a connection type to accelerate application access. So I will go with the default one which is proxy and if you would see the public endpoint I am going to disable the public endpoint because I am going to secure public endpoint it provides the ability to connect to manage instance from the internet without using VPN and is for data communication only. So access is enabled by default unless explicitly allowed. So I can enable it later as well. And the minimum TLS version that I'm going on with is the 1.2. There are some security settings. Okay, I click on security. It's saying Microsoft Defender for SQL. I can start a free trial now. I'll say start on a not now. It says identity. Use system assigned and user assigned managed identities to enable central access management between these database and other Azure resources. So currently it's system assigned identity enabled because it will be managed by Azure. And if I say, is, okay, the, it is yet set to off and I want to use the user assigned managed identity then I have to take care of it and add the corresponding details if I already have an identity. We can do that later as well but right now I will set it to the system assigned identity. I'll go back. Service principle, it's in preview. I'll set it to off. Transparent data encryption encrypts your database and backups. I'm using the service managed keys. I click on next. These are the additional settings. And now for the collation, I will choose the collation that I want to use for my managed instance. Let's say if I migrate a database from SQL Server, I will check the source collation by using select. Okay, I will click on find a collation and I will do it here. But I am going with the default one. Time zone, I am setting it to universal time zone. I want to use uh, geo replication. It says use as a fail over a secondary. If I select yes. I will enable this option to use the managed instance as a failover group secondary, right? You can leave it on, you can set it to off, it's yours. So primary managed instance, I have to choose a primary to make it, right? And if you would see the maintenance window, and if I say, if I use this option, right, then I would have to choose an existing primary managed instance that will be joined in the same DNS zone with the managed instance that I'm creating. So it will be secondary, that will be primary. But I don't have a primary now, so I'm going with no. Maintenance window, you can set it as per your choice. Okay, I'm using it system default. You click on next. You click on review create. So the estimated cost per month is 59,450 rupees INR, right? So be very cautious when you are creating it. Okay. You see the details here, review it, and then you click on create and it will start creating it. Okay. Now if I click on create, it will start deploying it. It's initializing the deployment. It's submitting the deployment. I have my SQL MI created. And here you will see if I scroll down to the 
parts you will see the options that we selected and this is how you create the SQL MI or SQL manage instance in Azure. I hope you like this video. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.